Right guys, uh, it's a pretty miserable morning, but uh, I'm going to go dig for some ragworm and hopefully show you how that's done, so we'll get moving. Now first things first, when you're digging uh, for rag or lug, you wait till it's low tide and once the tide goes out, uh, it uncovers a lot of the softer ground and you can dig. Now you can see little uh, holes where the ragworm dig. This area I'm in, I know that there's ragworm in here, so I will start digging a hole or a trench, depends on what way I feel it's going. Now I personally use a shovel, a lot of people use a fork, but I prefer to use a shovel when I'm digging for rag. So that's why I have the shovel with me today. Here we have them. Right. Ragworm. You see? There's more. It's fresh from the ragworm. Some people just do a trench. Right along. And then they'll filter through them as they move along. Now guys, when you're digging a trench like I'm doing here, you then use the shovel to break up the top bits to see if there's any ragworm in it, and if there is, then just take them out with your hands. Now it's important to refill in the trenches because if someone comes digging after you, you don't want a hole being there that can, someone can fall into. So just cover up after you do one trench, just cover it in. Guys, to move fairly fast. Yeah, it's a messy job. Messy work, guys. If you have the time. That was a small little rag in here. And like I said, uh, see where it's dragging the stuff back into the trench or dog, so just keep the filth in. Well, Rag, I'm just saying, I still do the job. Once I see them, I gently remove them by hand. If I continue to shovel, I might break them apart, and you want them intact for the fishing. Telltale signs of the ragworm is their colourful tail. You see them? And these guys are too small, but when you're digging, especially dirty stuff like this, once you see the tail moving, try to go around it. And it's important to see this, I dug out. I'll fill this back in with this stuff so there's not a big hole left here for any future people coming along. So I'm a little tiny rag. If you want it, you want the big ones. But well, I'm almost having enough now. So just about to come to an end. Now my rag where I have them in a bucket, so I'm gonna empty out the excess water and I bring them back to my car. I will put them in dry newspaper with some seaweed and that will dampen it down and that will keep them nice and fresh for when I need them for fishing which is tomorrow but they would last longer. There you go guys like half an hour about 20 something rag there. Right 
Well, the things I do for you guys, I'm absolutely soaked. Change my coat, trousers, uh, absolutely soaked. The rain started coming down and I decided to do a video just showing you uh, digging for some rag. And uh, as you see, it's, uh, it's dirty business. If it's dry out, it's not too bad. Um, and I've got about, about 20 rag. So I'm fishing tomorrow and it's going to be uh, all baits. Uh, we're going to have rag, crab and mackerel and mussel. So I just wanted to get them in just so I have them ready for tomorrow. I have the mackerel already in the fridge as you've seen from uh, the other video all the mackerel I've been catching. So that's great guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you again soon.